When an airfoil is flying at low angles of attack, the air flows smoothly over its surface, following the curve of the airfoil. As the angle of attack increases, it becomes harder and harder for the air to keep following the contour as it flows over the upper surface of the airfoil. At some critical angle of attack, the airflow will stop following the airfoil's curve, and the flow will break away from the surface. This is called flow separation. The portion of the airfoil over which the flow has separated will generate very little lift. If this continues and flow is separated over the whole upper surface, the lift will dramatically decrease. The onset of flow separation is called stall. In this condition, increasing the angle of attack does not increase lift or even leads to a decrease in lift. The stall can either be gradual or sharp, depending on the airfoil shape. This can have a huge effect on safety and flying qualities of the aircraft during slow speeds or high angles of attack. Especially during takeoff and landing, an aircraft is flying slow and at a high angle of attack, so stall behavior is crucial for safety. As we saw in the last video, CL max is the maximum lift coefficient an airfoil can generate before stalling. A higher CL max gives a lower stall speed for the same wing loading. It should be noted that stall is dependent on the angle of attack and not on the speed. An airfoil can be made to stall at any airspeed, if the angle of attack is large enough. The speed that we call the stall speed is simply the airspeed at which the airfoil must operate at its CL max. Otherwise, the lift generated will not be enough to support the plane's weight. Now let's look at the types of stall. Trailing edge stall. In this type, the flow starts to separate from the trailing edge and grows forward towards the leading edge as the angle of attack increases. The gradual forward growth of the area of flow separation on an airfoil of this type produces a gradual loss of lifting ability with increase in AOA as shown in this plot. This type of stall is desirable because there is a gradual loss of lift which leads to a gentle stall. As the flow separates and becomes turbulent over some portion of the airfoil, there may be some buffeting and vibrations, which can act as a warning sign at the beginning of the stall. Leading edge stall. In this type, the flow separation starts at the leading edge and moves back towards the trailing edge. As the angle of attack increases, a small separated flow bubble develops near the leading edge of the airfoil. Initially, the airflow reattaches behind this bubble, so it does not significantly affect the lift. However, once a critical angle of attack is reached, the bubble bursts, leading to sudden flow separation across the entire upper surface of the airfoil. This results in a sharp and substantial loss of lift. The abrupt loss of lift can be seen in the lift versus angle of attack plot. A leading edge stall is generally unfavorable due to its abrupt nature. The pilot receives little to no warning, and the stall occurs suddenly and sharply. However, a safe airplane can still be designed with this type of airfoil. Proper design of the wing planform and twist can be used to make sure that the wing starts to stall at the root and give some stall warning to the pilot. This is good because some of the lowest drag airfoils, particularly some of the laminar flow airfoils have leading edge stalls. As it can be seen, there is usually a compromise between low drag and gentle stall characteristics. If two airfoils, one with trailing edge and the other with leading edge type of stall have a similar performance, it would be better to use the one with the gentle stall behavior. Even a little performance could be compromised for safety. In the next part we will see how the airfoil camber, thickness and leading edge radius affect its lift, drag and stall type. In general, this will allow us to look at an airfoil and get an idea of how it will behave, which will greatly simplify the selection process. So subscribe to the channel for latest updates on the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.